Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we're gonna analyze the California Pro 2024, which was won by Tonio Burton. It was very much expected, he was definitely the heavy favorite to win this show, although in my previous video I said it might be B. Stu who's gonna win this show, and surprisingly, for some reason, the guy ended up in fourth. In second, we had Emir Omeragic, that's how you pronounce his name, it's not... Emir Omer Magic or whatever, he's from here, from Serbia, actually from Montenegro, which is close by, so he got the second place, which was surprising, I did not see it, he was really shredded, and I guess that's why he got it, as far as muscularity, the other guys are probably a little bit better, but he was just peeled to the bone, in third, it was not Beef Stew, it was this guy, new guy, Pablo Lopez, I don't even know who he is, but he just came out of nowhere and took third place beating Beef Stew, which was really surprising to me, so Beef Stew ended up in fourth. There was no live stream of this show, don't ask me why, we only got this footage from the cameras, it is what it is, I'm sure there is an explanation why they failed so badly with this show, but I guess it's gonna happen from time to time, I mean it is a pro show, it is a Mr. Olympic qualifier, but it's not exactly the biggest one, so yeah, I can see it, maybe there was no funding for the, the live stream, something like that, anyways, Tonio Burton won, and as far as his conditioning at this show, from what I'm seeing right here, I don't know if this was his best, I mean, I think he was prob. I mean, I don't know, the lighting is different, so it's really hard to tell, but from what I'm seeing right here, I think his best still was Arnold Classic South America, and I would say New York Pro is also probably better, So, I but in this competition right here, he was simply the most complete guy, the best guy, and he deserved this victory, so he's going to the Mr. Olympia again, as he should, as he most definitely should, I mean, last year he was 8, top 8 at the Mr. Olympia, that's, that's pretty high up, and he should definitely be up there again, battling for that top 10 again, but, I don't know, feels like this year it's gonna be definitely more competitive, and if he looks like this, I don't think he's gonna be in that top 10, so, like I said, like I predicted in my previous video, he, I don't think he brought it, I mean, this is definitely not the best Tonio Burton, you know, he's a smaller guy, and when he nails the conditioning, he actually looks very good, but here, without exactly nailing conditioning, he, you can definitely see that he's smaller than everybody else here, so he didn't really stand out with crazy conditioning, still, still, he was the most complete guy, with the craziest back, with uh, one of the best conditioning, but again, the show was not that good, now why Beef Stew plays so low, I don't really know, we got some pretty good photos as well, so as you can see, like, yeah, sure, he wasn't exactly the most conditioned guy, but I don't think he was that much more conditioned before. I think this is probably similar, maybe, maybe even better than New York Pro, I mean, again, the lighting is different, I don't think anybody here looks as shredded as they are, and the quality of the photos in the videos is not exactly the best, but I don't know, I mean, the beef still was really big, he was really massive, he was one of the biggest guys here, and very complete, as usual, but for some reason he got, he barely got even that fourth, he was in the top four callout, he was actually out of it, somehow he got a fourth place, but, you know, it was tough, he could have placed lower than that, I mean, the angle here is off, so I don't know how much can we tell from these photos, but, you know, as far as conditioning, like the separation in the glues, the dryness in the back, and the details, I don't think this was his worst conditioning, if anything, it was probably, I'd even go as far as to say his best conditioning, maybe he overdieted and came in too flat, again, it's very difficult to assess based on these photos, but yeah, he's kind of looking weird in the back double, but at least to me, from what I saw so far, he seemed like he was the biggest guy, and I don't see a big issue with conditioning or with the overall peak, I hope somebody who was actually there can tell us why this happened, but it's confusing to me. As you can see, none of the other guys are looking very good in the poses, like, look at Emir, for example, like, very, very weird, uh, absent eyes, and Tony also, he, his stomach is bulging, it's not looking very nice, very aesthetic, and, like, his legs are looking like they're, you know, made of sintel, with no separation. Uh, Beef Stew here honestly looks probably the best to me, like, with the best wee taper, with the most size, but... Yeah, I mean, I can definitely see that his physique looks kind of off, again, it's probably just the photo and, I don't know, the lighting, 
it's a weird show, like there is no live stream, it's really hard to do any kind of accurate analysis, but I also don't want to make a six minute long video complaining about why there is no live stream like some other YouTubers, hint hint. So we got what we got, and this is what we got right here, so in the side chest again, honestly guys, I mean I like Beef Stew the most, I mean yeah sure the angle is here in his favor for sure, but... I'm really not seeing why he plays so low. Oh, yeah, I got it. it. It's the hair. It's gotta be the hair. I don't know what the hell is he doing with his freaking hair. It's really distracting. Just shave that freaking head. I mean, no, don't shave it, but like, do something with it, man. Look nice and sharp. It's a bodybuilding show. It's important to look nice and clean and everything. You know, in every regard. You can't just show up with a hair like this. I mean, yeah, I know it's like interesting, it's new. But it's not working in his favor. I mean, I'm joking, it's not the hair. It's not the reason why he plays so low, but it didn't help. I'm telling you that much, it didn't help at all. And if you look at his glutes right here, I mean, they are lean. They are separated. They are leaner than Tonio's. Look at the shoulders as well. Hard, separated, the chest too, the arms. I mean, everything just looks really hard, really big and full. Like I said in my previous video, he, I mean, he came in more conditioned, Antonio came in off. However, he still won, and the other two guys, Emir and Pablo, also beat Beef Stew, so weird, but it is what it is. Anyways, guys, down below in the comment section, tell me, what do you think? Do you think Tonio really deserved this win? Again, this wasn't his best, but if not him, who else then? And also tell me, do you think Beef Stew was robbed or something? Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more videos about bodybuilding like this. Subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.